What happened? Your implants, they look half done. Done or not done? It is of no importance. A bhikkhu does not defile his body through cyber modification. It is against the Platimoksha. And yet, they knew about this. For me, there is no return. Hold on. Somebody forced you. Not just me. My brother, too. They drugged us. Desecrated my body. And all the while, they mocked me. How can you do this to a fellow human being and still mock them? Makes no sense. You go and do something like this. And why? We were out begging for alms when... when they approached us. They laughed at us and asked if we would take implants as a donation. They looked more machine than human. They told us they would improve us like tools. Maelstrom. How about your brother? He still with him? Yes. I was first. Then they were trying to decide how, how to modify him. You look like someone who can reason with these people. I beg you, please. Help my brother. I only hope it is not too late. I do not wish for him to end up like... like I have. Chrome-sucking psychos. It won't be easy. Maelstrom never goes down the easy route. The fucking clowns. Help us, please. But without any bloodshed, I beg you. I'll see what I can do. Either way, your brother's getting out. I do not know how to thank you. They're keeping him in a shop just north of here. You shall find it next to the road along the docks. How poetic. A monk in distress. They should include this in your epic. What are you gonna do? Cross your legs and meditate till they drop dead? Wish you drop dead. Chubbs, Chubbs, listen! What if instead of an arm, we chipped him with iron? Every time he'd have to take a piss, he'd... <laughs> And then he'll start a next-gen Buddhist fellowship of, get this, full metal monks. <laughs> Please, Dharma has brought me peace. Do not deprive me of it. Open your flap again. I'll rip your tongue out. So this is where they're keeping our fellow brother.
do not do this. Implantations against my beliefs. Please, I do not want them. Calm down. It's over now. I'm not with them. So... What are you doing here? What happened? Glad I got here in time. Are you okay? Did they do anything to you? I was lucky. They could not decide which implant would be... funnier. Cyber psychos. The lot of them. One... One of them wanted to remove my jaw. The thought itself gave me shivers. Thankfully, did not get the chance. To what do I owe this intervention of yours? I was walking by, caught some lame jokes about metal monks. Think about Maelstrom. They're never just joking. <laughs> nah. The truth, your brother sent me. He didn't want the same thing to happen to you. From the bottom of my soul, thank you. I'm especially grateful nobody was killed. May you continue on the path of peace. What compels these monsters is of no consequence. It's not up to us to judge what they deserve. Uh, yeah, sure. How'd you even get taken by Maelstrom? Most people avoid him like the plague. We are here as strangers. We wander from place to place. When we arrived in Night City, we had no time to identify its dangers. Don't monks live in monasteries? It used to be, they did not. My brother and I belong to a group that follows the earliest Buddhist teachings. It is an interesting life. We have met many unusual people. Yeah, so I see. There's no need for sarcasm. We know the world is dangerous. But if one takes no risks, one will never know what lies beyond the front door. I'm sure you understand. Your brother's waiting for you. Not far from here. First I must catch my breath. And then I shall go. It is him who shall need saving now. Look who's taken the righteous path. If you're so afraid of killing, maybe you should have become a monk instead of a merc. Killing isn't the solution to everything. If you want to change the world, there's always a price to be paid. As for these chrome fucks, you think they got all this gear by sitting around going, um... If they had enough to spare on monks, then surely they don't need all of it. <laughs>